Hi guys, this is Liz Kadeda from Sleek Lens. Today I'm going to go over how to use the chasing light workflow to add light and color to your portraits to make your subject stand out. So I have this portrait already pulled up and we're going to go ahead and start. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work with my presets first and for this portrait I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do the sharpen. The next preset I'm going to apply is a base preset and I'm going to use the base fresh color. Alright, so now I'm going to go to my chasing light brushes and I'm going to use those to really enhance the detail on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to open my chasing light light brighten brush and I'm just going to use the brush in a general motion over her face and hair just to add more light to her in general. I'm going to hit new. I'm going to use the same brush but I'm going to turn the exposure up a little bit and I'm going to make the brush smaller. You can do this using your bracket keys and then I'm just going to use the light to kind of contour and add some more light to her face. Alright, I'm going to go back into my chasing light brushes and this time I'm going to go, I'm going to hit the light brighten again just one more time and I'm going to make the brush real small and I'm just going to use it directly on her eyes just to add a little bit more there, turn the exposure up a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead into my brushes one more time to my chasing light brushes and I'm going to use the softened skin and I'm just going to use that all on her face because I did apply the sharpen preset but it kind of sharpened the detail on her face a little too much. Alright now I'm going to go back into my brushes and this time I'm going to be using the chasing light darken brush and I'm going to be using that all in the background here. And I am going to turn the exposure on this brush down a little bit. Alright, I'm going to hit new and I'm just going to do that one more time. So what we're doing here is by darkening the background and adding light to her, we're really making her stand out from the background. Alright, and then I'm going to, the last brush I'm going to choose, I'm going to hit new, and then I'm going to choose the Brighten Highlights brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this brush in her hair a little bit. Just add a tiny bit of definition, especially to the darker parts up here. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do to this photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the before and after. So as you can see, we've sharpened the photograph, we've added a lot of light to her eyes and her face, and we've really made her stand out from the background. Here's the before and the after. Alright, so we're going to move on to another photograph now. So for this photograph, I am going to start in my presets again. I am going to use the Polish Sharpen preset and I'm going to go up here to the color correct and I'm going to hit the reduce greens but I don't want to reduce them that much so I am going to go into my colors tab here and just pull the slider up just a little bit. Alright so the next thing I'm going to do is go into my brushes here and I'm going to open the chasing light brushes and for this one I'm actually going to use the chasing light add golden sun and what I'm going to be doing is using this brush up here in this area to really kind of add a gold kind of haze to the photograph 
So I kind of want to add it down where the sun is here. All right, next thing I'm gonna go into my brushes again. So I'm gonna hit new. I'm gonna go to the brighten again and I'm gonna use this all on her just to add Right, I'm going to hit new, add a little bit more to her face. I'm going to go back to my Chasing Light brushes again. First hit new, and then I'm going to go to the Darken that we used earlier. Actually, this time I'm going to use the Darken Shadows, and what I'm going to do is use that all kind of around here behind her to add a little bit of depth and dimension. Alright, so real quick, I'm going to apply a, another preset, and I'm going to go, let's see, I'm going to use for the warm it up preset for then the tone and tint, just because I added that golden sun, I do kind of want to make a warmer tone portrait. So I'm going to go back into my brushes. And this time I'm going to use the actual darken brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use that all behind her. Turn the exposure down just a little bit. I'm going to hit new. I'm using the same brush, just with a little higher exposure here. Right, I'm going to hit new one more time. I'm still going to use the same light brighten brush and I'm just going to use it right up here in her hair just to kind of darken up the highlights that are up here. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do for this photograph is I'm going to go down here and use a medium black vignette although it's a little too much of a vignette for me. So what we can do to kind of lessen the vignette effect is we can go down to our effects. You're going to look for something that says highlight priority and you're just going to move the slider up just a little bit. All right, so that's all I'm going to do to this photograph. Here's the before and after. So we've added a bunch of light directly on the subject here and we've kind of darkened the area around her. We've added a really nice golden kind of sun haze tone and just warmed up the whole picture in general. So here's the before and the after. All right, we're gonna move on to a third photograph now. So to start on this photograph, I'm gonna use an exposure preset just because it's a little bit underexposed. So I'm gonna use the Brighten 2. And then I'm going to open my basic tab here and just turn the exposure down a little bit because it was just a little too bright. Now I'm going to go into my brushes and we're going to do like we did with the last photograph. We're going to get the Chasing Light Light Brighten brush and I'm going to use that all over the subject right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use that in her umbrella as well. I'm going to hit new and I'm just going to do that one more time. I'm going to hit new one more and this time I'm just going to do it in the umbrella here. And then I'm going to turn the exposure up a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is open my brushes again. So hit new. 
And this time I'm going to use the Chasing Light High Saturation Brush. And I'm going to be using that all in her dress right here to really bring out the colors in her dress. So I'm going to turn the saturation up a lot on this. And the light up as well. And the contrast. All right, so similar to what I did before, I'm going to go and I'm going to add a vignette to this photograph as well. And I'm going to go with the medium black. And then I'm going to go into my brushes one more time. And I'm going to be using the Chasing Light Darkened Shadows. And I'm going to be using this in the background here. And I am going to adjust the vignette slightly on this preset here. So we're going to go down to effects, open up highlight priority, and I'm going to pull it up a little bit. Okay, so here's the before and after. So we've added a lot of light to her. We've colored, or we've added color to her dress and added some light to the umbrella. And then we've just darkened the background to kind of make her stand out. So there's a little bit more depth in the photograph. So here's the before. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be able to try it out for yourself soon.